love God and do what you please. Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the 21st day of a journey from wilderness to Calvary. A religious person has gone to a barber shop and he was having a haircut and there was a conversation going on between the barber and this elderly religious person. And the conversation went on so deep that they came to speak about the topic of God's love or loving God. And this barber said, I don't believe in loving God because God, if there is God, God will not bring evil. If God is there, then people won't suffer. If God is there, people won't be in poverty. And why should I love God? Because God doesn't do anything and I don't believe in God. And this religious, elderly religious man who was preaching about the love of God and to love God was thinking to himself, how should I convince this man to love God? By the time this barber finished his haircut, shaved him, and this priest left the barber shop with a lot of disappointment. As he walked out of the barber shop, he seen one beggar with a long beard walking towards the barber shop. And then immediately, this religious person went in and said, you know, there are no barbers. I don't believe in barbers. And this barber said, what are you, what are you saying? And I gave you a haircut. I have given you a clean shave. And how can you say that there are no barbers? If there are barbers, why do people have a long beard and a big hair? And immediately the barber said, you know, unless and until they come to me, how can I do shaving or I can, how can I give them a haircut? And then the religious priest has to tell him, unless and until you go to God, you will not experience the love of God. And you will not know how to love God. Therefore, in order to experience the love of God, you need to go to God. To love God, you need to experience God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today in the Gospel of in the, uh, today we read this fact in the Gospel of Mark chapter 12, where uh, a scribes come, one of the scribes come to Jesus and ask, which is the greatest commandment of all? And Jesus says, you know, know this, hear, O Israel, the Lord God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And what does it mean to love God with heart? My dear brothers and sisters, heart is the seat of the affection and a will. And therefore, the heart causes us to give either good things or bad things. And then it makes us to focus our attention onto affection and to a will of God. And that's why in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 12, verses 34 to 35, Jesus says, For out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. So heart is a place where we store up the affections the love, the emotions. And Jesus says, when he said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, which means all your emotions have to be turned towards God. All your emotions, for the priority of your emotions should be first for your God. And then the second thing that Jesus says is, with all your soul. The moment we think of soul, we think of life. We think of consciousness. When there is no life, we do not exist. And therefore, all our life, if without God, we do not exist. 
And that's what Jesus says, love God with all your soul. Just as there is no breath and you are not there, so also without God you do not exist. And such should be your attitude in loving God, my dear brothers and sisters. And how we pan for this life, what all we do to save this life. And the same way Jesus says, you know, you need to do that to love God with all your soul. And the third thing that Jesus says is, with all your mind, my dear brothers and sisters, one of the quality of mind is to reason. And it is only given to the human beings. The intellect is only given to human beings. That's why Jesus says that our minds and thoughts should be centered upon God. That's why in the letter to Romans chapter 12 verses 2, we read St. Paul telling us, do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. In what way do we need to renew? Fill our mind with God. There are so many people in this world who reason and say there is no God. Just like that Baba who has reasoned wrongly and said there is no existence of God, nothing good happens to me, therefore God is not there. But there are so many other things by looking at the beauty of the nature, by the way that God has created human beings in such a wonderful way, can be a sign, can be a thought to think, yes, God exists. So, Jesus, when Jesus said, with all your mind, love your God, with all your mind means this. Fill yourself with a positive attitude towards God and know that He has created you. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, the second commandment that Jesus says is, love your neighbor as yourself. Whether either loving God or loving neighbor involves three aspects. That is, being committed and being loyal. First thing is to be committed and to be loyal to the person whom you love, to God whom you love. And the second thing is to have a trust and respect for God and for your neighbor or your brother. And third one is, when you love, your love should be in giving and surrendering. Completely surrendering. Trusting that God will take care of me. And that's what Jesus means to say, love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Which means to say, our complete self has to involve or be soaked into the love of God. Only then we can love a God. My brothers and sisters, the penance, the prayers, these, the charitable works that we are doing should enable us to love God, to love our neighbor. In one word, I cannot experience this love unless and until I experience God's love. Therefore, let's experience God's love through the sacrifices in this, during this Lent and help ourselves to love others. Amen. If you like this small piece of reflection, kindly share, like and don't forget to contribute your little share for the promotion of the Liturgy TV. God bless you and have a wonderful day.